finally some sunshine and some blue skies. We are in Areri Snowdonia National Park in the Ogwin Valley. Behind me is the mighty Travan. Over there in the distance is Agan and the Glizzes. Um, we are going up that direction, which is on the other side of the road from Trevan. Uh, Penner Alban is over that way. Caleb David is at the back. And we're going to a lake called Finon Floya, which is straight up, up there. We're not sure where we're going to camp. Um, we might camp by the lake or we might even go further up depending on how we feel and whatever so yeah we might do a, a summit so yes stay with us and uh, see how we get on we haven't long left the um the lay by where the van's parked but the view from here already is just epic. Um, imagine living in a farmhouse by there and waking up to that view every morning. It's just views to die for, like, you know. Absolutely spectacular. What a place to live. I'm not jealous or nothing. <laughs> February, it's absolutely roasting today, and uh, I'm gonna have to take a layer off in a minute. And um, I didn't think I'd be saying that today. It's really warm in this sun, which makes a change from all the rain we've been having. We've got a bit of a river crossing now. That looks a bit sketchy there, so I reckon we're gonna try and go up a bit higher. <laughs> you went right in, did you? Simon just went in. <laughs> right up to his ankle he went on his left foot. I'm glad he went first, so I can avoid doing what he did. Me and Simon have just taken our coats off now. We are absolutely roasting. And I think we're about halfway to fun and clear now. So not too bad, not too bad to go. So we'll get to the lake, like I said, and see what we're gonna do. This is Finon Cloya and there's fishing here. I've seen people on YouTube fishing this lake and I know it's brown trout in it. So yeah you can you can fish if you like. Obviously if you've got a permit. Um, looking round there's a little bowl here we got um pen roll then straight ahead. Um, we're debating whether to ditch the bags and just take a hike to the summit because we haven't done that one yet. But time is against us, I suppose. Well, it's one o'clock now. It's going to be a couple of hours to get to the top and back down, so we're not sure if we've got enough time. There's still flakes of snow going around the top. Not a lot, but we had some snow, I think, um, during last week, and that's what's left. It's got a bit chilly here, but I just put another coat on. Um, 
we're still not sure what to do, we're still undecided. But um, I've got to get some water, because I, I didn't bring any water up, so I'll have to use my filter. As I'm the oldest, I've made an executive decision. We're going to save um, Penarol when summit for another day. Probably come back in the spring, get a day pack on, and knock out a few summits in one day. So we're going to camp by Fun and Cloyer today. I think you'll all agree. Beautiful spot. Fantastic. Simon is going to put his tent by there, somewhere by there. Looks fairly level and flat. I'm going to pitch my tent a bit further down there. So we've got a view of the lake and Penrall when. Can F Daviv is up that way somewhere. So we're going to get the tents up and get set up for the night. Tenter pitch, the Simons, Fjall Rave and Abisko too light. We haven't seen that for a while, he hasn't used that for a, quite a long time. There's mine, the usual, the MSR XF1. Not the most level pitch in the world, as you can see, the fly doesn't come right to the ground, but it's good enough. And look at that view. Fantastic.
since the sun has uh, disappeared, it's gone really cold on you. Um, I've got a thermal t-shirt on, um, a, a base layer, a mid layer, and I've got a down jacket on as well. And it's still quite cold. So, I'm having a galaxy hot chocolate. Just want to show you the tent I'm using tonight. Tunnel tent. It's a Fal Raven Abisco Light 2. Um, I've had this tent over four years and I did a review um, setup video about four years ago and um, it's our most popular YouTube video on our channel. And what I'm going to do in a couple of weeks, I'm going to do another review on it, um, saying what I like about the tent, what I don't like about the tent, um, things like that. So yeah, I'm excited about doing that, um, and I'll be going on the channel, like you said, in a few weeks. So if you're interested in tech reviews, look out for that one. Let's check out tonight's menu and drink selection. Tonight we have an adventure food chicken curry. Had that before, that's one of my favourites. I've also got a bag of salted cashews, a couple of Kit Kat chunkies, two Cadbury instant hot chocolates, a couple of Nescafe two in one coffees. For the morning, I got a golden syrup porridge. And the alcohol tonight, I've got four cans of McEwen's Champion, 7.3%, as dry January is now over. And I've got one can of the obligatory Herefordshire Fire Water. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to boil some water, get a coffee on the go, and get warmed up a little bit. Just put my bed in. It's my usual winter setup. My Thermarest NeoAir X Firm inflatable mat. I've got my Nemo fellow pillow. I'm a poet and I didn't know it. I got my Leviathan EV OEX down bag. I've also got my mountain equipment light line jacket so I can always put that over the top as well or I could even wear it in bed if it gets too cold so I'm going to be toasty warm in air tonight guaranteed It looks like a police helicopter. I hope it's not coming for me and Simon. <laughs> that is close. Yeah, and it's it's not um it's not a mountain rescue either. That's mad that. Yes, police. Thank you. Oh, 
obviously looking for somebody. Do you reckon they can see us? Well, again, they can't miss. They can't miss that orange tank, can they, from up there? Helicopter still here. It's been hovering there for about five minutes now. Hang on, it's turning, it's turning. It's coming towards me. <laughs> Inside, I've been in the tent for the last half hour. It's getting dark now, and uh, the temperature's dropped as well. So, we've just been lying in our bags for a bit, just trying to warm up a bit. But I don't think it's going to get um, below freezing tonight. I've checked the forecast, and it's going to be three or four degrees. So. We shouldn't hopefully be waking up to frozen tents, but you never know, we're in the mountains so anything can happen with the weather, it can just change in an instant. I think it's about 6 o'clock now so I think it's nearly time for beer o'clock. Just cracked the can of McEwen's Champion, let's give it a taste. Seven point three percent. Oh, lovely, Alice. That's champion, is that? Champion, get it? Uh, I think Simon's gonna crack a can as well. What are you having, Simon? Oh. What are you cracking, champion? What are you on the Herefordshire fire water? Yeah. You? Yeah. I've had this in bottles before. Lovely beer. So you are a few of them, you know, you know you've had a drink. <laughs> Time for a bit of grub. Tonight I've got the Adventure Food Dehydrated Meal. Pass the bolognese. Never had that before. Give that a try. Water's boiling. Also as well, I've got a big bag of crisps. Probably my favourite crisps ever invented or made. And they're real roast ox and they're pretty hard to get older these are um, whatever supermarket I go in they're normally sold out so I'm lucky to get a bag so water's on the boil I'm gonna rehydrate this and I'll bring you back right eight minutes is up I've put this inside my sleeping bag to keep it warm so so that works for us, like. Okay. Looks like the pass is nice and soft, anyway. Not bad. Quite tasty. Um, probably good about a seven out of ten, but it's good. Probably one of the better ones I've had. But these crisps. Awesome. Mm. 
You can't go left of these. They have a lot of time for them. Seven out of ten for this, but it's good. Mm. Just boiled some water now for my Adventure Foods meal. And I've had to use Simon's uh, stove because mine's been failing the last three times I've used it, I think it is. It's the BRS 3000 lightweight stove. But the last three times it's just I don't know, initially I thought, it was a, I thought it was a gas, so I bought a new gas, which is the Coleman Performance, and I'm, I'm assuming you can use this in sub-zero temperatures, and it's not even sub-zero, it's probably, I don't know, two or three degrees now, which the gas should work fine, but all I'm getting out of this stove is like barely a flicker of a flame, nothing at all, hardly. So, um... It looks like I'm going to be in the market for a new stove. I don't know what to get. Maybe I'll get another one of them. Another BRS 3000. I don't know. Or I might look into getting an MSR Pocket Rocket. Or some other make. So if you've got any, anyone's got any suggestions. What you think I should get. Leave a comment and let me know. I'll be interest, interested to... Um, Hear your thoughts on what stove I should buy. I'm sat here, right, eating, eating my food, and a thought has just suddenly crossed my mind. I'm sat here on a wild camp. No wind, no rain, and it's so refreshing, just so I can sit out the tent and just not worry about getting wet or getting blown away. It's just brilliant. It's nice to get some decent weather for a change. It really is. But, as for this food, it's not as nice as I remembered. I thought it was better than this, but, I don't know. I don't think I'll be buying it again. <laughs> I don't know, it's, you know either they either made it different or they changed it, I don't know, but I don't remember it tasting like this. It used to be good, but I don't know. I can't even finish that, I reckon. That is a four out of ten. And that's being kind. Just come out of Simon's tent. I'm going to go in my tent now, by there, and we got a clear sky, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the GoPro out all night, stick it on um, night lapse, and hopefully get some astro video, some footage, hopefully that'll turn out okay, and if it's any good, you'll see it on the video. Anyway, we'll see you tomorrow morning. Until then, good night guys. Good morning from the Canedi. It's around 6 o'clock. Um, the wind's picking up. Just looked outside the tent now and it's gone really misty. So I think we made the right decision by um, camping a bit lower down. I think on the summit, up on the top, it'd be, it'd be pretty windy up there. So. Yeah, I think we made the right decision. Um, not much to say, really. The same thing as normal. We're going to have a cup of coffee. Um, pack down. We're going to have to wait until it gets a little bit lighter because visibility is pretty crap, to be honest. So, yeah, like I said, a cup of coffee, pack down, and then head back to the van. Normal service has been resumed. We got wind, well it's not too bad, but a little bit breezy. Low visibility like Simon said. It's probably down to about, I don't know, 30 feet, something like that. 
if you look inside my tent I've taken this all inside my pack now well most of it apart from my sit mat and the tent bag obviously so I'm gonna throw all my empty cans in my pack now take the tent down and then slowly make our way back down it's only about a 45 minutes to an hour walk down so it's not too bad getting lighter now you see the lake you see a little bit of Penarolo in over there Tents are down as you can see. That's what this tent was. No trace left as usual. So we're gonna get our packs on now and we'll see you on the way back to the camp van. Well that's a wrap on this latest video. If you enjoyed the video, help us out, give us a a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos from us in the future hit the subscribe button and you'll get a notification every time we upload so all we've got to say now is if you made it this far thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one Bye. take care